Site preparation got underway this week for the new Lucas County Jail. Lucas County Sheriff Mike Navarre telling WTOL 11 that the new jail will drastically improve the county's incarceration system. Our Michael Sandlin, he joins us live from the future site. So the sheriff updated council last night on exactly what the progress of this project is. What did they learn from him? Jeff, Sheriff Navarre tells me he updated council so that there can be no delays on permits or other administrative matters. There's been multiple false starts trying to find a new home for the jail over the years, and he says he wants this process to be as smooth as possible. And while the official groundbreaking for the site isn't for November 6th, as you can see, work is already underway, and this new jail is expected to have multiple notable improvements. The sheriff says it will not only have more beds, it will also have a new approach to watching inmates, creating large open spaces to house them with 24 Four seven viewing areas in the center. He says this will reduce the amount of workers needed. Additionally, the sheriff says the new jail will have on-site mental health facilities, something he can't elaborate on until the ink is dried on a contract with an outside medical entity that will run it. The transfer of inmates will also change. Right now, there are plans to build a skywalk to a small building across the street from the jail that will house courtroom proceedings. And Sheriff Navarre says we didn't even expect to see the use of virtual courtrooms literally can build a courtroom in a jail with video where the judge can appear on a big screen in life size form and that eliminates the need for transporting prisoners uh, back and forth to courtrooms and it provides a more efficient operation and allows for a, a much safer environment. The jail is expected to be open in late 26 or early 27, and the sheriff says this comes after years of searching. There's actually been five other locations that were considered before they settled on this site. One of those includes our current health department. We'll let you know the status of that building and what's going to happen with it in the future coming up tonight at 6. Reporting in downtown Toledo, I'm Michael Sandlin for WTOL 11.